Hi everybody, it's Amy from Cattle Upon a Hill where we talk about faith, frugal food, and family farming. I am excited today to share our latest adventure with you. Um, we just got a text from a friend who said they um, knew somebody who had a week old Holstein Jersey heifer calf. Um, so we are going to pick up this heifer calf with our SUV and I will show you how we will do that. So this is how we plan on transporting this calf home. I have an extra large dog carrier and we put it in the back of our older SUV. We put the towels in to catch any pee or poop that might happen on the way home. And then once we get her home, we'll show you what we do next. I just want to add something right here to this video. I couldn't record it because I was driving and I just didn't want to pull over on the side of the road. Well, I actually, I did pull over on the side of the road because the calf was getting out of the kennel. I completely underestimated how big a week old calf is. I guess I'm used to getting day old calves, but this calf is strong and lively and she did not like to be in the kennel. She completely destroyed my kennel. Her hooves broke the plastic bottom and then she her back was up against the top and so she bent the back. So I think the kennel is done for. But so if you have an older calf, older than a day or two old, um, you are not going to be able to use a kennel like I used. So here this picture shows that I took her out of the kennel, folded the kennel down, put it in the back seat, and then she just rode in the back on the plastic. And she did actually go pee, but thankfully the, the um, towels and the plastic caught everything. My SUV does not smell, so make sure you're putting plastic down. Make sure you're using towels to absorb things, and everything should be fine gotten her out of the truck but now she's decided to lay down she stood the whole way coming back it was about 20 minute drive but now she's laying down I guess she's exhausted from her trip my son put this um, blanket on her this is an actually an extra large dog sweater that we bought for new calves so we're gonna go ahead and put her in the hay mow until we get a better um, place put together for her Okay, so we're back home and we have the calf temporarily settled um, in her area. We're going to put up some better gates and more restraints um, so she can't move around too much and cause problems. But we have her in a small pen outside our milk house and she looks like a nice healthy calf. Um, you can see that her coat is shiny and um, one other thing when you're looking at bottle calves is to check their rear end to make sure it's clean. If it's dirty at all, I would uh, highly recommend not buying it because it's probably scoured and scoured calves are really um, difficult to deal with. So make sure that, and her eyes are bright and her ears are perky. Those are two other things to look for when you're looking at bottle calves. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with our purchase. We en we bought this from an Amish farmer um, that lives near us and we heard about it from a friend and we're looking for a name for her. She's a three quarters Holstein, one quarter Jersey cross and um, mostly all black. She has a little white on her belly, but if you can think of a good name for this calf, let us know. If you are interested in learning more about raising bottle calves, head on over to www.cattleuponahill.com and you can find articles about five places you can buy bottle calves, how to raise bottle calves, and even if you should raise bottle calves. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.